Ikabidi kwanza nime hiyo kufaint kwanza tu pose. <laughs> Nikaamka hata yeye mwenyewe akuwa anajua nimejifanya. Hey, Cuz ilikuwa nini like it was just it, things happened so fast but it was a bad game. Ulifanya vibaya. Hi guys, my name is Joy and my name is Ken. And this, this is, is our, our Burn in, in the, the Oven story. story. actually hata tunafaa kusema this is our ban in her oven story <laughs> sab oven ni yake yeah. but here we are and we are all known as the cape plate so here is our story yeah we are parents of two we have a, a baby girl and a baby boy and for our story tutaanza venye to limit basically yeah that was some years back because we started planning for for our babies that exact day that same day when we met yes, we started to limit <laughs> we started planning to how many babies we'll have their names mm. we then decided the names of our babies yeah the same day so yes, you could, it was just a typical uh, evening mm-hmm. then the following <laughs> day liko a holiday so job ilikuwa yeah place liko naenda liko ajustara uka the next day mm. It was the next day was Actually, labor. It was on 30th, 30th April. April. So first May is usually a holiday. Yeah. So nikajua star auka so I was going somewhere that evening. Mm. Na place nilikuwa naenda it's not where I used to live. <laughs> so nikiwa nikaenda kupanda hizo gari ROG. Yeah. Za Jogoro. Eh. Yeah. Mimi nilikuwa hapo kwa line. Ah wewe ndio ulikuwa mbele yangu. Ulinipata. Mm-hmm. So eh ile tu harakati kungoja ROG hapo venye azikujangi. Eh ile tukutan eh naona msichana hapo unasema ai. <laughs> Sasa line watu wameangalia mbele. Unapanga line kwa umeangalia nyuma badala ya kuangalia. Lazima kwanza nige, <laughs> lazima uconfirm kwanza. Alafu anajifanya yako busy kwa simu. Na mimi nilikuwa nimeona ameniangalia. So ukauliza directions. Eh nilikuwa nikajifanya kawaida. <laughs> Najifanya umepotea. Yetu unajua mali unaenda. Nilikuwa hapo kwa hiyo stage najua mali naenda. So hiyo nilimwambia months after. Eh nilikuja kujua later kumbe alikuwa anajua. So Sabu tukaanza kutembea hizo place. Mm. Unaona anakuambia, "Eh hey, by the way hapa Bama, hapa <laughs> Bama anakujanga." So kakuwa na hapa si ulikuwa umesema. Ulikuwa unasema ujui. <laughs> so nikamuuliza directions, she was kind enough. Mhm. Akani direct. I'm always kind. Gari kakuja. Gari kakuja nikaingia. Ndio nisijichoche sana nikaenda nikaka place eh, along the copath. Mm. Na yaka kuja there. The next <laughs> seat. Ah, so niko na hapa. Hapa kijana lazima achangamke. So stories zile za kawaida hapa na pale. Lakini uliza, "Eh uko unaenda nini?" Namwambia, "Eh hope stapotea." Lakini kama umeniambia gari inaenda hapo. Lakini ilikuwa na kuhurumia na unaona mtu amepotea Nairobi. Na venye ilikuwa usiku. Giza inaingia. So nikasema, "Ah. Wacha niifike." So hiyo story tu ikishika kaniambia anashukia Samu hapo. Eh, Jogoro eh, shauri distance kidogo mm. so mimi najifanya eh shauri shauri ni wapi ni mbali na hapa <laughs> so nikamfanya hivi chukua namba yangu eh. utanipigia ukifika kwa hao ndio at least ni mwambie asante nimefika hata mimi so that's when i gave her my number i called you we had a long conversations tukaongea nika watu wanajuana eh alinipigia nikafurahia <laughs> huko huko Nairobi ndio msichana akupigia na credit yake unapewa namba na anapotea kanipigia tukaongea na hapo ndio conversation ni kali to story za watu hii. So yeah. me personally napenda watu hii sana. Like half of our conversation tulikuwa tunaongelea watoto. Watoto majina, ati venye ukipata watoto utawapea majina za Kiswahili. Eh tukaanza hadi kutafuta tu hizo majina. Mm. By the way, tukaanza hadi ku ku argue like do we want a boy or yeah. a girl and we've not even known it. Hata sijui your second name. Hata mimi sijui <laughs> ni nani. <laughs> so hapo ndio We settled on two baby names. Two baby names. And but sa, up, argument ilikuwa mwenye atakuja wa kwanza akuje but mimi nikamwambia nikam guarantee mtoi wa kwanza ni dem. Na hapo ndio tukaelewana <laughs> we started now kupatana to date here and there. Mm. 
hata kuna siku tulipata na randomly hiyo wiki tu kwa street mm. it was weird kwa sababu tumeongea kwa simu watu jai meet tena and then alafu tunapatana tu eh mambo una so, na hadi hamjuani yet mko hadi na baby names mko mm. na nini but amna bado hiyo nini hapo ndio we can say that that was the, the start of this wonderful journey bans. The, our bands our bands <laughs> which now came through the oven so if uh, fast forward to kwanza sasa kutafutia hizo majina watu sababu zilikuwa tu majina <laughs> majina zipo tumeanza ku date months later tunataka sasa yeah. mtoto cuz ni ile mkiwa tu hapo peke yenu mkiboeka mnaanza kuisfariana tu kwa masikio ati mimi nataka mtoto so kazi ikaanza mm. actually it was like six months into mm. the relationship months, eh. yo tulianza like we we started planning to have a baby so hapo ndio shetani akaanza kuingia kidogo <laughs> cuz ni ile unaona kama mwanaume umefanya kibarua anakuja anakuambia babe i think i think niko na ball eh hey, unafurahi kidogo anze kuweka status <laughs> Iki, ikikaka kidogo <laughs> ikipita kama one month na kuja na kuuliza nilikwambia niko na ball <laughs> makosa ni yangu <laughs> so, na, so ulifanya hivyo like two times eh yeah na kama mwanaume ina, inaanza ile mko eager by the when you want to when you really want to have a baby ndio hakujangi so ikaanza ku, kuingia ndani yangu nikaanza kuona eh kweli maybe kuna kuna shida <laughs> nikaanza kuona si, nianze kukula sim sim na njugu hmm. but haikukaa sana i think three months cuz ah uh, ingine after the second time ukasema au uh, tawai test tena hmm. nikasema nitangoja mpaka ile siku nitaona tumbo imefika hapa ndio nitajua eh nikasema we'll never do a pregnancy test tunakaa hata nikipata any symptoms si test na kaa tukae mpaka nione mkono wako sasa kenye ile happen the that time nikaanza kuona kuna tu naona venye ukiwa kitu vitu mtandao unaanza kuona ati moods nini <laughs> nikaanza kuona kuna eh funny funny moods so sababu hata tukigawa hapa tuko tumefundishwa venye mtu anaweza fanya hizo test kama mjamaa so mm. cuz kila time ni mimi nilikuwa na test na mm. kuja na kuambia mimi nakwambia so mimi nikaangalia nikaona ina testiwa sije the test tunaweka kwa yuri na something so nikasema that morning nikaamka nikazima nikazima maji <laughs> kwa main na nika flash cho so tanka iko na maji mm. akaamka so, akaingia lazima nikiamka niende washroom wash na nilikuwa nimekataa kabisa kabisa ku test so aka akaingia washroom akaanza eh hey, hakuna maji hapa nikamwambia ah tebu acha nikaangalie main mm. so when ali maliza mimi ka test kangu nilikuwa nimekanunua kwa chemist imagine tu mimi naenda naenda kwa choa ati nakadip hapo ati na idip hapo nione nione kama kitu itafanyika hakika kaka kuwa negative i i really wanted to be a dad by fire by force so ndio nikakaa nikakushu no kaguzo na hata ikakuwa negative ikakuwa negative ndio nikakamu nikakwambia ile ufala nimefanya hata venye ulikuja ukaniambia kenye umefanya mpaka ukaenda ukahakisha maji was like really imefika hivyo <laughs> and it's only three months tume tumejaribu tume tu 3 months and ushafika hiyo point ya desperation so nikasema let me just do him a favor niende Brande, ununue yeah alafu Nika... test mm. na hiyo siku ukaenda ukanunua na uka test and it was positive hapo ndio kijana akafurahi I didn't even tell you <laughs> nilienda ndani ya washroom I did the test mm. nikikuja nikasimama tu hivi and you looked at me na ukaanza kufurahi Ay, I didn't tu, even tell actually niliona tu your facial expression <laughs> ah nikaona hapa kuna kitu uh, and that's, that's where how, that's how, how we found out. out and immediately the next day we the, the next day <laughs> tukaenda clean kwanza ndio dokia confirm mm. nikamwambia utu tu test kitu tu kenda hosi ika confirmiwa mm. and that's where tukafanya sasa hiyo hiyo blood test blood test and, and everything sasa tukaanza clinic kajani kakaanza after like ilikuwa the second clinic sasa tatu kaambiwa tuko 2 weeks 2 yeah. weeks tu ile twaje so eh na try kuangalia job job yangu ilisha after like a One, month after a month tukiwa yeah. like week 8 job yangu ikaleta job ikaisha na ndio hii fatherhood umeingojea hivi 
na Alamu. mtu anangoja anga fatherhood na kwa gome jambia mtu ya kikam nataka apate 1 2 3 4 nimweke hivi nimweke hivi so ndio mtu anakuja na hata una job so umerudi square zero lakini bado nilikuwa determined nilikuwa nasema hata atakuja tu tutalala kwa nyasi yeah you were so broke yet so happy <laughs> eh. hata sababu hata, hata nikiwa hivyo broke ad, nilikuwa tafuta doza bundles niingia youtube nianze kuangalia how to kuosha mtu huyu hmm. imagine one month pregnant hmm. usha watch videos zote za delivery venye mtoto anatokanga <laughs> mtoto akikuja ti mtoto akilia what do you do but nilikuwa pro design nilikuwa nasikia mtu yeye analia hadi najua na kuambia yeye analia ni njaa yeah those videos were so helpful yeah. cuz ulikuwa una watch youtube throughout mtoto unajua kraya njaa sijui kraya sijui ya colleague yeah. all in fact hata sikuwa 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 hata ku join ku watch any of them you watched them ah, kama hata <laughs> kama hata kuosha mtu hiyo ulimosha akiwa too man you watched you watched the videos ukalan ukajua yeah. mambo zote za pregnancy za ku deliver za za kulea tukaanza sasa first trimester kama tumesota eh na ilikuwa ngumu <laughs> but i was still working lakini sasa the income ilikuwa but this time yeah. bado tulikuwa tunaishi separate yeah. mimi so bado niko kayole yeah. yeah bado wako jogorod so pesa yenye alikuwa anapata ingeza ku kuni sustain mahali niko peke yangu yeah. with now my the unborn baby na na expect sasa yeye anze kuchangamka because <laughs> in nine months baby, lazima mm, tulikuwa tumeamua before the baby comes lazima tukwe tume tume move in and everything eh, tume move in tume officiate things even with our parents na kila kitu but sasa pesa ikienda kila kitu inaenda kila kitu inaenda <laughs> but i really tried <laughs> eh, unaenda hosi dokia anasema make sure huyo ame amekula fruits and balanced diet hiyo sasa ile pesa maybe uko nayo ni fair tu So mimi namwambia by the way nipo utembe. Mm. So hii pesa niko nayo na na eh kwanza kuna place tulienda buru hapo kwa fruits. Mimi nimezoea pudding na kuanga 50 bob. Yeah, na cravings zilikuwa zimeanza za fruits. Akachukua tukabai pudding mbili akatuambia ni 160. And na nilikuwa pesa yetu ya fair tumetoka na... clinic tunafa kurudi kwa nyumba. <laughs> so nika tukakolea pudding ni campaign king ngoja nirudishie so tupande gari ya kayole tupande kwa sababu najua ni mbao mbao. Kwa ona umepewa coin. Akanirudishia 40 bob nikasema we. So nikamwambia eh ni healthy tutembee. So sisi yao buru doni hmm. manyanja na tukafika. But I thank God mtu yali tokea healthy yeah, na Yeah we, we walked a lot. Sana. But the good thing we were walking together most of the time. <laughs> so hakuna ile stress ya uko na uko na ball uko peke yako unatembea. Mm. So Ata... tu, acha ni fast forward ka story kingine kakutembea. Eh, the day nilikuwa nimepata ka job pale umo. Mm-hmm. Nikakwambia unipeleke. Yeah. Tukufika umo <laughs> tumepanda gari. So ile tu unabeba ngafe ukijua unaenda kufanya ka deal. So tukiwa huko mwenye tunamfanyia job akaniambia nimpe a few minutes. <laughs> So ukiwa tu hapo tunja tukakuanza kasa mm. mastingi hapa bezi ya supu. So ile pesa nilikuwa nayo. Hey, my cravings were cheap. Yeah, by Nile, by yeah. if you don't have money you can't crave expensive mm. things. So <laughs> Unabidi ka... tu mecravea within your budget. Saka so crevea kichwa ya ngombe hapo na supu. Tukaingia. Tukakula expecting that he don't apata kwa kaka job. Mm ndio tutarudi nayo nimpeleke place a kule tulikuwa tuna risk pesa yetu ya fair kwa una chezeo sa unakula huyo msema anakuambia haitaweza ametoka na umeshakula fair <laughs> baby we walked then walked now from umoja tukayole again na kuniacha haki so i thank god for that now we are here kuambia na hiyo story <laughs> I we actually i think hata ile kitu tulifanya sana throughout is working mm. cuz sometimes ningeenda job and he was not working na sina afya kurudi home so inabidi ametembea to my workplace ndio jioni tutembee back pamoja nisitembee peke yangu so anatembea hadi town ndio nikitoka job ati tukatie pale mudhurwa nikaa na kuja kunipick lakini si kunipick na gari ni kunipick tukitembea unakuja na simama hapo Haile Selassie to come marikiti na tunaenda but the best thing ni what i loved about that moment sema tu tulijiwekea Hakuna mtu at- anaweza kuja saa hii aseme yeah, at your no time one, tuli you, no one even our friends didn't get ati to know hatukuwa tunataka hiyo mtu anze kutuhurumia ama mtu mm. anze kusema mbona mli- cause of the fact that people knew we hadn't even been together for a long time na 
Watu ndio watu wangeanza kusema nilikuambia Jane. Ama watu wangeanza kuona like it was a mistake. Yeah. But within ourselves tulikuwa tunajua ikitu ni planned na tunaichapa tunaipeleka vile si tumeamua. So another interesting part about your period ni the day okay siku siwezi sema sikuwa na food. Nilikuwa nimebuy KDF hapo <laughs> nikachemsha chai. So I had food. <laughs> So eh yeah, nikiwa tu hapo ananipigia simu na mwambia ah mimi nimeshakula niko poa. Mm. Kaniambia hapo basi good night ni nini ni. kidogo kidogo nasikia mlango inagongwa eh amekuja. Cuz I knew hawezi niambia umelala njaa. <laughs> but ile pesa kidogo nilikuwa nao I cooked a lot of <laughs> Ata haukuwa na fridge but I cooked a lot of food ugali na ugali na sukuma I cooked a lot. Nilikuwa tu ugali na sukuma ukisema <laughs> a lot kutaka kuwa na to stew. <laughs> si ni a lot but it's a big ugali sukuma mingi nikaeka I packed in four different mm. dishes nikazileta knowing very well that we is this though kufika nikamwambia unaweza kula hizi unaweza kula moja saa hii moja moja, moja, moja uh, ni kule moja kule moja ingine utabeba job ingine ni kule next day mm. kufika nikaeka the four dishes you ate all of them saa hiyo saa hiyo sasa ni ile unaeka two stock hizo so how come ni inform unataka kubeba that was after <laughs> mimi kwa juu kwa na dish kubwa ukaziweka kwa tudogo tudogo ndio and that's how it eh, ugali ya siku nne na mboga cuz even throughout you are the one who used to eat a lot like pregnancy in terms of cravings na food <laughs> ni wewe unakwanga affected eh. tunapatanga eh, ni wewe ndio una craving ni wewe ndio unakulanga a lot alafu zangu ni kwa expensive na pia ni wewe unapata moods eh, <laughs> <laughs> But maybe your first second trimester mood ziko pia zinaletwa na hiyo story ya finances. But it was a really tough time cuz nakumbuka hii story ni Shay sema venye tulienda kuona your mom home mm. na kina dad. Mm. Cuz niliambia kina mother eh lazima nitafute so tutu do. First second trimester ndio tulienda. Mm. So ni ile imefika second trimester nimeshaanza nime kuona hapa nikisema ati ndaenda nikiwa ready <laughs> Ya yeah, na tulikuwa tumepanga tufanye hizo vitu yeah. pole pole but now yeah. ndio hii ball ina grow nini you have to harakisha everything alafu mm. pia wazazi kuna vile wao uko na expectations mm. hamja introduce yana hata kwa parents yeah. and funny thing both our parents wako ni pastors mm. like my mom and parents wake so kuna ile ka expectations ya watoto wa pastor atuna sema watoto wa pastor nini <laughs> lazima muanze na harusi rura sio harusi eh. nini all those processes but so mimi kamwambia the best thing ni twende <laughs> at least wazazi wa juane yeah. ifanye some sort of introduction mm. at least ikuwe something official yeah so that's when we planned kaenda huko mapero wangu we went and met my mom mm. by the way it was very smooth hata tunaweza sema parents hawakutupea mm. judgment eh, maybe you may... nasianga maybe mtu anaogopa kwenda kwambia wazazi mm. maybe because you are not married ama nini wali tuelewa yet all of them ni leaders kwa church ni pastors but mimi naweza sema on my end eh venye tu nili design ilikuwa nime sema tu my adult would be after shule nini mm-hmm sikuwa sumbua so hata wewe kuna mali walikuwa ameniweka yeah designer hata nikienda niwaambie ni wape information tu yote hawezi anza kunibash ati unaenda ukipea na mimba kwa nini sababu anajua uni mtu independent nini cuz mm. i moved out immediately hata nikiwa hata 19 or something mm. so, so ni kitu ilikuwa too smooth pia pande yake i really love uh, hamam ni supportive sana Yeah, both up. Na aku, aku kwa zile za mother in law at you many ribi ya maisha ya mtoto wangu nini. <laughs> yeah, of course mzazi uko na expectations but ni ile anajua ah ukiona mtoto wangu ameamua ku settle up or it's and relationships za both sides zikaenda poa wa parents wakajuana hata wakakuwa wakakuwa close. Hata ni comfortable kwenda kwenu after ulimwambia uko na bola kakuuliza ni Ken. Ah <laughs> analikuwa tu amekuona eh, once ha, but ni kajua hata yeye alikuwa ni kama ana mm. amuona huyu kijana ni mzuri sana. <laughs>
one trimester tumeambia wazazi tume tunaka into terms na the fact that mm. mtoto anakuja na si tutamlea na ile kitu iko approaching that trimester nikaangukia ka job yes. na the first salary nikapata by the before nipate job sababu tu ile kukuwa mwanaume nika nikasema ndatoka huko mali nilikuwa na stay mm. and you refuse to come and stay in my house Singa. ukasema wewe kuja kukaa kwa wewe kuja kwa wako so nikamwambia vitu zangu nikapeleka home kwa madhe walikuwa na car storage mm. nikapeleka huko nikakataa kwenda kwake sababu so, nakumbuka hiyo siku nilihamisha vitu nikapitia kwako usiku mm. ukakaa ni kama unataka kulialia but and i felt so bad kwa sababu hata kani ile kujika zaki mwanaume <laughs> hakuna vile huyu mtu atasema ati haizi kuja kukaa kwako aende kukaa no, again so is end of the gun that point zitashuka <laughs> but it so, only took a month vitu zikakuwa poa and kenda nikaishi na best yangu nikaenda hiyo job mm. salo tu ya kwanza ikakamu nikakuja hapo nikamwambia vitu zako zote venye tu ziko mm ita pick up zipeleke kwenu yeah na by then tulikuwa tunaingia that time sasa yeah. but the good thing with all that time tulikuwa tunakosa everything but we had a good insurance cover so mambo mm. za clinic mambo za like, ah, hauna fee ya kwenda clinic but unaenda hospital ni poa unafanya kila kitu poa check up doki anakwambia iko sawa but issue ilikuwa tu fair <laughs> issue ilikuwa tu fair na food yeah mimi nika move out sababu nayo ulikuwa unapiga hesabu ku raise your rent hiyo ndio inaweza tumika mahali mm. so nikapata job katafuta hao akapeleka vitu kwa nikachukua vitu mali nilikuwa nimeweka mm. then we moved in and it was on our first anniversary mm. when tumesema we met on 30th by the that april, night 30th april that night hata nyumba yeah. iko imepangwa vitu tu zimeletwa zimewekwa tukaeka tu mattress kenda hapo nje nikakuchukulia kachipo na kuku eh yeah, so hata anniversary tukasema first anniversary ndio tuna move in ndio tunaingia that trimester mm. already <laughs> atakasema happy anniversary yeah there, there was nothing we could do tulika tu kwa nyumba tukaji celebrate ya tusi peke yetu <laughs> at least from there vitu zika tunaweza yeah. sema zikaanza kuwa smooth mm, uzuri ni hakuna like hata ili nifurahisha hakuna deni nilikuwa nimejiingiza like yeah. hakuna ati mtu nilikuwa nasema ati niko na deni ya huyu na huyu mm. so hata venye doili anza ku come mm-hmm. ilikuwa tu ni cause hata vitu za hao i had most of the things mm nilikuwa na kiti nini bed what have you so we moved in na maisha ikaanza ikaanza so we started now waiting for the baby together together with all the information i got from yeah. youtube <laughs> nilikuwa prepared data za home delivery ya yeah. <laughs> ku massage the belly Kumasaj, everything kuongea kwa belly that's why kanapenda kuimba imba by the way you started singing to her mm from ata ata from ata i think to your two na hiyo kitu immediately to lijua kuna kama mtu hapo ndani you started nilianza nilianza kama jokes cuz mm. nilikuwa naona wakisema ati ukiimba ati kuna venye mtu yeye ana reacting yeah and na actually it, niliona to some extent ni ukweli cuz ata now she is anapenda mangoma mm, cuz hiyo nayo she took that from you venye tu ulikuwa umependa kuimba and unajua mimi siezi imba so mm. ukasema unatafuta partner wa kuimba ngana yeye kupiga piga kelele hapo kwanza kumuimbia from akiwa 2 weeks kwa tumbo mm. ukamuimbia throughout hadi until hiyo siku hata yeah. atakamezaliwa na saa hii ashapata hiyo talent ya ku, like now you can sing together mm. jenda <laughs> hey, jenda <laughs> We okay. really fought. <laughs> we really fought about the gender but mimi nilikuwa mwambia hata tufanye hizo mat- the scan nini nilikuwa mwambia mimi huyu ni dem. But yeye alikuwa anasema ati yes yeah, ji ball za madem ji zinakuangaje. Mimi namwambia huyu ni dem. I really wanted a boy because sina brother we don't have even we don't have boys kwa family yetu sisi tuna sisi hatuna msichana sisi hatuna msichana yeah. kwetu. Kwani ni vice versa. So tulikuwa na hiyo tulikuwa tu tuna conflict mimi mm. nataka Boy, because I remember I remember I even used to pray nilikuwa naamka usiku naombea jenda sasa shida yako ni uliomba during that time mimi nilikuwa nimekelea maombi kitambo kwa kwamba 10 years ago na mimi nakuja kuomba tu hiyo dish yako 9 months so nikaomba but tukaamua hiyo siku twende scan yeah so kufika scan kwa karatasi we didn't we didn't want kujua agenda hapo kwa hosti karatasi envelope tupatie hiyo doki aandike tukapata ni mjama fulani mzee akushikanisha Aku akushikanisha kumwambia <laughs> tunataka agenda uandike hapa so kuingia huko sijui nini ilifanyika akikuscan eh hata sikuwa nafikiria ameanza nikaona tu amekelea hiyo kitu kwa tumbo ameanza kufanya hivi anasema umeanza kununua nguo hebu nunua za pink 
So hapo ndio story za basha zikaisha. Nilisikia crash because first hiyo sio jende yenye nataka to be honest. Alafu ameileta tu. Amesema tu hivyo yani ata ata ata, ata ni bembelezi. Akaisema tu ah mmenunua nguo ongezeni za pink. So mimi hapo nikakuwa zile aya ni dem. Alafu ukaanza atikuniambia ati za zingine zinakuwa false nini. Yeah. Mimi nikakwambia hiyo ni sure bet. So that's how but we But I didn't have a hard time to come into terms. Hata kama nilikuwa nataka chali, I think within hata 2 days nilikuwa nime mm. nimeanza ku accept, nimeanza kusema oh mini me is coming. I love but... sasa hapo ndio at least mimi nikabambika cause nikiongea nikiongea naye kakiwa uko ndani nilikuwa tu nakaita baby. So mm. nikaanza saka kaita na ile jina tulikuwa. Yeah. Tume tumeipanga. Mm. And that's how we knew the gender of our first child until now that was almost tukingojea uh, due date yako. Yeah. Yeah. Sasa ni siku ya leba. That trimester, that trimester yeah, ilikuwa yeah. na a lot that of things. That trimester ilikuwa smooth cause watu walikuwa. Ni ilikuwa ile energetic nafanya kila kitu naweza fanya kazi, naweza tembea, naweza. Kuna kula nyama nini. Yeah. Maisha ilikuwa inaanza ku, kujipa. Yeah. Ikafika two around two weeks before. Two weeks before. Before I, I deliver. Ndio tukaenda to, we walked a lot that day alafu tukarudi home. Kuna argument tulikuwa kuna kitu tulikuwa yeah. tumekasirikiana tuliko ready tumeshafika tumelala eh. and then we started arguing i was it was two weeks to delivery mm. tulikuwa <laughs> tuna eh sasa hii ya das jai ambia tulikuwa yeah. tuna argue na yeye akiargue anataka nga mkae nini iendelee tu tuagiu mpaka so mimi naona huyu na, nani anataka kuagiu saa sita usiku au saa mbili saa tano so mimi nikaanza kumwambia eh designer sikio hiyo kichwa nasikia kizunguzungu mbaya sana. Mm. Nikamwambia hata nasikia ni kama hata si nasikia joints. So kwa sababu yeye anakoaga mkind nini akaanza. So nika kwanza nikastuka nikakuwa zile za kwa nini nimekugombanisha ama ni kwa nini nakuletea mood zangu ama kuna endaje. So okay. ni ile nikaanza kucheza chini mm. kidogo. Okay, Nimekasirika kasirika bado. <laughs> Nimekasirika bado but naanza ile kukea naanza kuuliza mm. unafikiaje ni kichwa side gani? Nikaanza kusema eh wacha kwanza ni kunywa tumaji warm at least ni nisikia kama nda kwa unani mbe wacha nikuende na kwambia pana wewe hata current state yako mm-hmm. so mimi nikaanza kuona ah huyu ameanza kukuwa caring na mimi badala niachi hapo kai akizi vipindi ningeachia tu hapo uone nime tumetulia tulale mimi nikaamka nikaona hapa nini ninaweza fanya huyu mtu asa hii story mimi kama Ken wale wananijua napenda mchezo kijana akajifanya amefaint Eh ukasimama ukaanza ukasema acha niende maji. Ku step 2 mara moja nikasikia mtu ameanguka. Mimi sijaona live alone hata my partner sijaona mtu amefaint ama mtu ameanguka. So nile najikokota from bed. Niko tu nikasikia tu mtu ameku hapo babe ananitingiza na mimi nasema sicheki. Nikakauka unanitingiza eh, unaanza kulia kidogo. Sijui first aid naanza tu kukufinya tumbo sijui what I'm supposed to do nime panic. Unaanza kulia unaanza kulia eh, and then i think your shock kila kitu mimi nikasikia tu nikasikia nikasikia mgongo wangu umekuwa baridi kumbe ni water ibebe <laughs> nilisikia hata mimi kitu ime gash tu mara moja yani it was so sad and hata mimi sikwangi wale watu wa kupata pressure tu mara moja but i think nilistuka sana nikasikia tu <laughs> mimi niko hapo nime faint nikasikia tu kama tu ame faint tu maji mara moja kama <laughs> ikabidi kwanza tumeweka story kando ikabidi kwanza nime hiyo ku faint kwanza tu pause nikaamka hata yeye mwenyewe akuwa anajua nimejifanya kwa zilikuwa nini like it was just it, things happened so fast but it was a bad game ulifanya vibaya so what i can break but it was not a lot i think it was not even all of it cause venye nilienda hosi bado wakakwambia bado So what I can break hivyo. <laughs> Kahavu sasa usingizi hiyo usingizi yote nilikuwa nataka. Mambo za kufein tukaeka kando mbio mbio tukapiga daktari. Tukaanza safari. Mm. Daktari akasema tufike. Kufika ukaambiwa bado uko na some yeah. maji bado iko. Yeah, ni leo naambiwa you are you are you've dilated but but pia kufaint ilikuwa poor cause sidoki alisema mtu yeye alikuwa amepupu. Yeah in fact hata hiyo kufaint ilikuwa good thing cause kama hange faint mtoto angeendelea kuka huko ndani na hiyo pupu. So hiyo kufaint ikafanya water i break tukakimbia hosi. Sidoki akasema save a lot. So ika so naweza sema pia nilisaidia mali. Design tulikuwa tumestuka we didn't even realize the water was green mm. and it's not supposed to be green. 
So Dokia kasema that's the a good thing imefanyika. But hatuko muambia party ya kufeint, tulimwambia tu what time break. break peke yake. <laughs> and that's how leba yetu ilianza. Yeah. Tukaenda hospital. Very <laughs> weird story. <laughs> so we went to hospital, aka break the rest of the water. Kaleba kakaka for a few hours. Mm. And then because now the baby had already pooped, nikaambiwa mm. haiwezi ka afai kukaanda ni for eh, many kwa, hours. Ukainduciwa. Mm. And that's how Leba was very very manageable. In fact me wambia kila mtu that's why I want many babies because before we Belele. started having babies nilikuwa namwambia wacha kwanza wa kwanza akuje nione venye hiyo leba na sikianga inakaa ndio nijue if we'll if we'll really go for the four mm. babies that we want. So nikaona ya kwanza leba was very manageable tuka tukaingia nika leba for like four, five hours. Hakuna hata point nili have atikulia ama kupiga ndoo. Okay, mimi nilikuwa na expect venye story watu wanapiganga. Eh, Ngoja upige ndoo. And then there are these WhatsApp groups zenye moms tunafungua anga tunaanza ku discuss hapo ile bai kwa aje mnaulisikiaje mm, wenye mimi wameenda before you. So me I had I had very bad stories. Nilikuwa scared mm. but kufika I think bodies too ziko different cause me my labor both sijai kwa na dramatic nini ikakuwa tu poa up to in fact hata by the time naenda ku deliver ni ile dokia nakuja na kuambia ah you are ready umesha umesha funguka all of it kuja sasa we you start pushing but now there is a disadvantage with not having so much pain niliambiwa pushing sasa nayo inakuwa pushing inakuwa ngumu cuz eh. you can't feel your pain <laughs> ya kutaka ku hiyo pain ndio watu wanasema ngayo pain ndio ina push mtoto eh. so if you are not in pain that's you have to use your energy ugali yenye umekula ndio unatumia sasa kupush na but uliweza na tukabarikiwa na our first baby girl and that's my jani yangu ya fatherhood ikaanzia hapo ikaanza hapo mm. the the bond yenye ilianza tukiwa 2 weeks mkai mkaiendeleza mkaanza kuniweka kando eh hey, by the way <laughs> pole sana but eh siko na jeta kuwa hivyo cause when the baby came ikakuwa sasa ni just the two of them mm. hata haukunipea nioshe mtoto even for one single day nilikuwa tu napewa mtoto shiko mnyonyeshe after nimemaliza ku breastfeed leta mtoto namchukua like nilikuwa kazi yangu tu ilikuwa ku breastfeed you okay. did everything kumuosha hey. kum kupanguza to every time pia kulala by the blanda nilifanya pia kulala mm. unataka kulala kama umemshika the whole night ju. so hata mtoto hakujua ile ati mtoto ana anaelewa mm. but sasa huyu apili anajua so <laughs> naweza sema hata hiyo by the time maybe anafika 3 months ndio mimi tulianza ndio mkaanzana ku bond eh ni... actually si hata juzi ndio uliko niambia venye umekuwa live ya the second ndio ume bond na emo yeah cuz i realized it's not okay it's a good thing cuz pia me tunaweza sema nilika na yeye nine months kwa tumbo so ni poa pia yeye spend na yeye mm. but on the other end it's not very fair because ni ile mtoto ana una nikaa wewe ni chakula yani anakuja tu kwa kwa anakula <laughs> anakula anaenda anarudi ana but pia pia within after 3 months to years ago kai tuko after 3 months ah say si si ni girl squad <laughs> and that's how kajani ketu Mm, so after after now yani post money mm, after the delivery mm, bonding with the baby na tukaanza okay nilikuwa nimemwambia nataka watu wangu waachane na 2 years yeah and hata kama nini hata kama mtoto alikuwa na hizo colic all that by the way it was not easy hata kama ulikuwa na haiku at you spend time at you see kwa eh you could spend time you really want cuz ilikuwa ku dance hata most of the nights huko una lala mm-hmm. the whole night tunapata nilikuwa una unaeka movie kwanza hiyo time nilikuwa na changamkia was it game of thrones yeah eh ndio hiyo time na nile ujao hiyo na watu umeanza season 1 so mtu yeye mnakaa hapo usiku ilikuwa yeye ende alale kitu 10 na kuleta ya mtu hii 4 mini jekele umnyonyeshe mm. alafu tupatane asubuhi mm. so hivyo ndio ikakuwa hivyo ndio routine yeah tunakana alafu akuwa analia akibebwa sana so mimi na prefer tu akaya hapa ni watch movie au lale tutaonana asubuhi mm. so the first the first three months naweza sema the baby was 90% yours <laughs> yeah. but but hiyo uh, ilisaidia sana because 
venye maybe as a mom unakuanga overwhelmed mpaka unaogopa kupata second born mm. i was so ready for my second baby because ulio ni smooth eh, sana niliona ni smooth sailing sasa hata nilikuwa so ready by the way atakuwa group watu wakianza kusema ati ati ojalala siji ati mtu yeye analia eh mimi niko tu hapo na chat changia ningatoa but it's 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 good pia tunge share 50 50 but at least niko na chance zingine za kufanya 50 50 ah, but mtu wa kwanza ndio upeleka mtu mbio si unaona huyu wa pili hata aku akusumbua alikuwa tu akinyonya na yeye hapo na lala yeah so parenthood kafikin tu vizuri mm. akafika 6 months the safari za kuendea sindano the whole night mnalia ma uchungu ya yeah, in fact hiyo ndio two time yenye mimi naweza sema nili niliumia mm. because ni leo unaona mtoto wako amedunga unasikia tu kuambia kisi mlipe tu hiyo sindano mimi simuache kumdunga <laughs> mnidunge tu mimi but akapita tu hizo zote tukimaliza tu sasa hiyo hiyo ka utoto utoto akifika 9 months una feel hata parenthood ime is kidogo yani hizo responsibilities ime is unaweza delegate vitu zingine unaweza achia unaweza achia mtu mtoto mm. ndio sasa tuka But the first time nilitoka the first time nilitoka nje na yeye alikuwa 3 months. Yeah. Nilikaeka tu kwa carrier. Tukaenda hadi kwa shop ya madhe tu watu walikuwa nashanga. The moment you are waiting for all your life. Eh, watu walikuwa nashanga cuz mtu akikuona na katoi kadogo anaangalia nyuma yako one. Kuna kuna mama anatembea tu nyuma. Alafu aoni mtu. So anashanga huyu mjamaa anaenda wapi na kakatoto. But ilikuwa ngata so easy for you kwenda na yeye mahali than me cuz nilikuwa napata nikienda na yeye ata anaanza kulia eh lazima nishinde nikikupigia pigia mm. <laughs> but ikafika around 9 months we started planning for a second baby 9 mm. months later nikamwambia tuanze kazi mm. sasa akaniashua mm. cuz lazima upate confirmation kama oven ime imeenda service <laughs> oven tukaambui kwa sawa oven is ready to bake a second one <laughs> eh. kijana akaingia kibarua and that's how now we mm. but so tuka tukasema we want our babies to to be two years apart tukasema mm. every every two years another baby god willing and we prayed about it tukaambia god kama naweza tupea another baby in two years same month baby pia yako kalikuja august yeah we we even prayed about it and then we started calculating mm. nile mpaka tunachukua calculator kwa hesabu hapo unafanya tanzita cost unataka ati watoto washikilia unaona pie chart nini hata unasema wezi shindwa na hesabu ya shule na pata ushindwe na hii ya maisha shindwe na maisha so maisha unachukua kila kitu napiga hesabu ananiambia venye kuenda unaona ukitaka babies wa share birthday nini unafanya maneno hii time yeah Uh, so, so we did our calculations tukaona penye anafaa kukuja mm. tukaona ndio akuje august tunafaa kwa na dates fulani <laughs> tuka so tukaangalia hii we... period during this time na this time mnafaa kuwa eh mechi imeanza hii time <laughs> ndio ujue august itakuwa imeiva so that's what happened uh, mchezo ikachezwa and she came and told me that we had expectant after, yeah. after a few too, weeks yeah ilikuwa ilikuwa smooth ilikuwa tu smooth ni kwenda ku test positive ya ya pregnancy isasa hii preg- i pregnancy ili eh uh, story yake ilikuwa if uh, the first born angekuja kama maybe maybe niko na job ama tumejipanga in a certain way both stories ingekuwa the same mm. but you know hii somehow tulikuwa tumejipanga tunajua kato hii time nini nini zile vitu doki alikuwa anakuambia unahitajiza huyu mm. the fact that with the first born nilikuwa mtu wa research research mm. the fact that akiwa na hii pregnancy ya pili hakuwa ananiona kwa youtube ati anadhani ati sitaki yeah. kujua a lot na hey, mpaka... na mimi i already know hakuna <laughs> ad... tuna adi na kuambia so ulikuwa unafanya hizo research cause ulikuwa unajua ni msichana au utaki ku research sasa ujue vitu za boy <laughs> na mwambia ah hizo ni vitu tunajua na tulisha research Yeah. Sasa so, alikuwa anaona ni kama ati ati niko tutahitaje ili ignorant yani the right word. <laughs> <laughs> But people were really shocked. Eh yeah, by the way watu walikuwa zile za. Watu walikuwa ah, Juzi tu mmepata mtoto. Mm. In fact hata at some point mpaka nikaanza kujishuku niko like kwani is it too soon? Kwa yeah. hata <laughs> nikikwambia twende church tunasema ai hapana. Eh cuz ni ile watu wanakuangalia mtu hakuna mtu atakuuliza but 
Ai, si last month. <laughs> Adi ukipata na mada na sema nataji kana nyonya. Eh eh hata wali niuliza hivyo una kanyonyesha kweli. Na sema amemaliza. Yeah, cuz people think that kama umekaribisha na watoto maybe it's by accident. Mm. Watu haonangi kama unaweza taka hiyo back to back. Yeah, ndio ndio hivi. Cuz mimi nilikuwa nimejia okay mimi nakoga nimejiambia by the time nigonge 30 nilikuwa nimefunga hiyo chapter. <laughs> watoto so, watoto wote wako wameingia kwa mix so we we started actually quite too well to mm. vitu zilianza tu vitu zilianza poa clinic but this time kwa sababu tuko na experience hata huko na clinic the first month eh ni ile unasema ah hizo miezi za kwanza si na kuanga eh, tu kwenda ku unaendanga tu na guzwa guzwa so we waited ni ile hata nilikuwa najua kuna apps za mm. kuangalia ku track vitu ka hizo una download unaanza tu ku Na mm. zatu kuangalia angalia but we went for one check up ndo u confirm to the baby is okay then tukakuja tukangojea then clinic Now, appointments ikaanza eh sasa zile cravings haziku kuja first time we they really came but not to me <laughs> na sasa ni kwangu alafu hiyo ndio time nikajichocha ati nataka kufanya eh sijui restaurant reviews or something so ulikuwa unakula sababu unaenda hiyo hoteli unakula sijui manini unaenda huko that's why hata mtu yali toka akiwa kilo mingi yeah that time i think kwa sababu pia hizi vitu za cravings i think tu ni psychological cuz kama unajua hiyo kitu haiwezi patikana you can't crave for it crave. na ilikuwa anga niki niki mention ama ulikuwa tu unajifanya una crave cuz ilikuwa anga niki mention niko na craving fulani inabidi ameipata times 2 sasa ikule mara mbili tunapa unapata okay naweza sema na... Nilikuwa nataka tu at least cause nilijua kuna vitu li lack hii time ya kwanza. Mm. So kitu yote ni uluku nataka unasema ati saa hii lazima nayo ningechangamka. <laughs> yeah, so first trimester kawaida tu kama kama tu first trimester craving kama tu ya previous baby mm. but sasa this time cravings a bit a bit diff- junk. Hey, Even, junk. We really added weight in fact both of us. Hadi na, naanza ku, ku, ku kurisearch out kutengeneza vitu kama mapiza na kupikia mm. sijui makuku sijui zimefanya nini but hakuna kitu poa kama upate cravings na pia mna supportiana kwa hizo cravings au mm. jipati una overeat peke mm. yako mpaka uanze kujishuku unapata nyi wote mnaka hapo mnakula unakula mpaka hakuna ile alianza kujiambia ama ana ni judge ama yeah. anaona nakula sana mm. so ikakuwa that's how okay mimi naweza sema our First, second pregnancy mm. god ali alikuwa ame come through vitu zilikuwa smooth but ni mimi sasa mimi ndio nakuanga na pressure ya agenda mm. in fact hata ai nani nilikuwa nimesema ikuje either but pia nilikuwa nakwambia we already have then. a baby girl and you are here bado unaanza kusema yeah. ati bado tutapata msichana <laughs> mwingine so from the first month tu nilikuwa nile unangojea tu ifike ile time yenye agenda inaweza nikienda tu clinic nikienda clinic ya kwanza cuz ilikuwa il, il, bit late nikamuuliza mm. agenda inaweza onekana akasema yes eh nilifurahi nikakuwa zile za hata siwezi ngoja nataka tu i think around 18 weeks nataka mm. tu nijue gender nisikuwe frustrated mm. last last <laughs> but this time nilikuwa nimekuambia cause hata wewe nilikuwa naona unaingia mtandao unaangalia tu vitu kwa sijui stories za gender hey, watu wanachochana kwa kwa nini social media <laughs> sijui ukitaka kujua ni chali angalia mm. hivi sijui chinese calendar sijui nini so nilikuwa na shini ile najiambia taki kuweka akili yangu hapo but deep down unajua nimeweka akili yangu hapo unajidanganya tu sifikiri mambo za gender but hapo ndio nikajichocha nikakwambia nda kufanyia ka gender reveal something yeah aka small get together ya mabeste mm. tukaenda hosi ukafanywa scan this time tukapata mtu anaelewa what we want uh, madam amechanuka <laughs> tukimwambia tutaki kujua gender akaelewa hata alikuwa hapo ikifika hapo kwa genitals anapita mbio mm. Anasema Lipsione. mtu akiwa kina anaweza ona. Mm. So akaenda kwa ofisi akatuandikia akaweka kwa bahasha we took it to our sister eh yeah. pande za rongai tukamwambia shika hii namba uni mtu wa keki uni mtu wa deco uni mtu wa organize organize na waambie tu waambie gender, tu gender plan. So, so we we the one who planned everything na saa hiyo hata cause hiyo pregnancy ni in around 18 weeks it's mm. not even showing but unataka tu kujua gender mm. watu wajajo kwa pregnancy na ndio unaweka gender reveal Nina party <laughs> tuka tuka nini tuka tukaeka party mm. my sister planned for it tukaenda 
all through kila mtu amefurahi watu wanaenda mimi niko tu zile za aki kama kama nitakuwa frustrated umeva, like, umeva, na joita ni affect umevangua za blue mm. <laughs> by the way watu wanaona ngani kama hiyo kitu ya gender frustration it's real mm. people hawapendi uh, ku admit but it's real watu wanakonga zile za aki mimi eni bora kwa healthy it's good kama unaweza pata hiyo nini but not everyone is able to nini kuna uh, inaweza inaweza ku affect ni wewe mimi mimi nayo na niki set mind sijui ku accept at you at bora kwa healthy a uh-uh. a Heri tu ni kwa menajenda yangu nikikuwa frustrated ni sawa ndatafuta next time. Uta, uta, utajaribu bet siku nyingine. Eh, kwa zata kuna watu wanasema ngata tu mimi ni kwa sawa na yeye but kwa akili yao kuna ile tu ameweka ni. Kama jamaa. Ah. So tukafanya reveal. Na this time mimi nilikuwa kwa nimevaa manguo za pink lakini <laughs> sherehe ikaendelea tu nilikuwa na nguo za pink. Yeah. And it turned out that About was the lucky one <laughs> about to have a baby, a baby. boy so excited in fact hata mpaka saa hii na watching hiyo video nili recordiwa ndio hata ukimbia ngi na hiyo siku ulikimbia sijai ya sijui kukimbia but that day nilikimbia like cause it was ile kitu ya kupopi na toka moshi ya blue venye tu niliona hiyo blue sijui ni kwa nakimbia niende wapi nilikimbia ni ile tu kwa excited you can't even handle yourself nikakimbia tu nikipiga nduru mpaka wa leo ninachungwa anga tu hiyo clip na watch ni cause ile za we yenyewe i think that was the best day <laughs> ata ya hiyo ni uli, uli nice because nilikuwa na imagine nipate tena agenda frustration na ndio huyu hata sijamaliza hata kule first born <laughs> tena nianze kutafuta third born immediately <laughs> lafiko tena msichana <laughs> eh but but at least i was the lucky one the second time that's how we knew the gender of our second baby na pia mimi nilibambika cause hata kama nilikuwa nataka mdem pia kunipata pia yeah by the kitu ya agenda inakuanga mm. hata kama uko na preference hata ikitoja tu nini una accept na bado unakuanga tu happy so that's the story of how we, we found you. out about uh, the gender of our second baby and from there on maisha maisha tu basically ilikuwa tu poa mm. tunatembea i think kwanza the fact that mimi nilikuwa sasa nasikia na expect kenya nilikuwa nangojea mm nilikuwa hadi na look yani kila siku uko tu energetic uko mm. na psych niko zile za countdown 100 days nikutane na huyu mjamaa kama kama ni kutembea <laughs> kama ni kutembea tulikuwa tunatembea sana eh tulikuwa tunatembea sana and okay moving up and down my trips nini and everything yeah. eh cuz ina ilikuwa hiyo ndio time tu unajua time unalea mtoto akifika around 1 year ndio unakwanga umepata chance ya kwenda nje mm. ku hang out but ndio hii bado uko pregnant again yeah. so ilikuwa ina ina baki tumetoka sisi wote tuna tuna hang out tulikuwa hata tunazurura sana tuna tunapata hata hata mtu wetu ako ako ame spend yani ame mm. spend time ukaanza kumtrain hiyo kitu ya kuongelesha mtoto mm kwa zata sasa hiyo anacheza hadi mm. by the way it's good for babies especially kama wako almost the same age once tu kubond ma usianze kuambia mtoto ati nilienda nikamnunua kwa supermarket mm. she was one year and the good thing is yeye alianza kuongea mapema 
so tulikuwa tuna have a conversation cuz kasa yeye kwa 2 years na hakuna anaongea sasa hii ana anaongea but nayo meno alitoka alikuwa for months yeah so hata peda akasema hiyo ndio imemsaidia ku kuongea mapema so tulikuwa tuna have conversations tunamwambia the the real thing kuna mtoto mwingine anakuja ndio pia yeye asko frustrated akiona mtoto amekuja attention kama ina shit hata hata hiyo kuongea yote hiyo day tulifika tunaka alafu anakuuliza mama yake yako eh, yeah that's the day i came eh. home with the baby anaona nimeshika mtoto hakuna mtu mwingine anachukua mtoto ni mtu mwingine kwa nyumba hakuna mtu anaingia anaangalia anaenda rooms zote anarudi ako like na mama yake yako wapi Unashanga sasa unaanza kumwambia mimi ndio mama. Namwambia huyu ndio ule alikuwa hapa kwa tumbo. Si nikwambia bebi yako kwa tumbo na anakuja ndio huyu amekuja sasa. Anachanganikiwa but right now mm, mm. anajua ni baby boy. Ya, yeah, anaelewa. Sasa hata anamuitanga baby boy kama baby, baby bro. <laughs> baby boy amelala. Eh. Na hata deliver labor ya enzi likamaje. For the second month eh. kupata taliba ikakaa tukangoja. Bebi hata ilipitisha due date. 40 weeks no labor nothing i called my doctor akaniambia mm. mostly for second bonds hata haipitangi na kuangata inakuja before. baby before so ni ile uko like but watu huko nje walikuwa wanakuambia ah vijana wa uchelewa sio eh, unapitisha wanapitisha hata na 2 weeks but wao nataka tu kusikiza doki doki akaniambia in case ipite wewe kuja tu we check if everything is okay mm. tujue nikaenda they checked wakasema kila kitu iko sawa you can you have two options unaweza choose ku induceiwa cuz the baby is okay baby is big kwanza mm. wali mention baby, baby is big, big. nikapata hata goosebumps <laughs> baby is big baby is healthy you have two options yeah unaweza ngojea up to 41 weeks ama 42 weeks ama unaweza choose ku induceiwa cuz everything is everything is ready nikaona hakuna nika, wewe tutangoja. Eh tukaenda tuka, nikarudi home that day but nile nikamwambia na jipe ya two days. Let me just go and try zile vitu watu wanasema nga natural natural e, nani, nilienda si upa nikanunua ile that kati or something. Inakwanga raspberry, raspberry, raspberry pineapples. Kutembea. I walked a lot nikatembea nikatembea hata more than two hours that day. Nile natembea peke na si lati natembea pole pole. Nile natembea nikibounce unaambiwa tembea nika una bounce atashuka. So watu kwa barabara wako like ni nini baya na huyu? Cuz the belly is big unatembea uko hiyo time nilikuwa peke yangu mm. haukuwa. Natembea peke yangu naenda nikibounce nikibounce for like two hours. Nikarudi home nothing happened. No labor nothing. Tukalala. Nikasema tuamke kesho mm-hmm. tuende we can't hata ni wewe ulisema we can't wait wewe ndio ulinipea advice ukaniambia no, yeah, let's yes. not wait sababu tunaweza ngoja iko tu something mm-hmm. maybe na happen alafu from But the experience ya kwanza mm-hmm. atakuwa anajua hata mtu yeye ame ame mess mm-hmm. so tuka, tuka nikaamua nikapiga daktari nikamwambia i think i'm ready i'm coming to be admitted mm-hmm. nika tukaenda tukafika hospitali Nile mpaka kwa njia nika distance tu kidogo like 20 minutes but nilile namwambia twende tu pole pole maybe ni hiyo 20 minutes mm. maybe ndio ndio anangoje atoke tukafika hosi tumeka kwa parking bado nataka kujipea a few more minutes before niende hiyo induction cause nilikuwa nisha experience mara ya kwanza mm. but it was not that bad for me ndio maana nilikuwa ready kuinduciwa the second time tukaingia nika tuka tukambo tungoje daktari hakukua yeah. tukakaa we, we started praying we started dancing <laughs> bado ni dance hata <laughs> hizo napata watu wengine wako in labor so hata madaktari wana expect ni zile unafika uko in pain nini nikafika nikaambiwa kama oh wewe unangoja daktari nikapewa room tukaingia so na nilikuwa nimeona dancing ni one of the ways ya kuindio. Kwa hata ulikuwa unatembea na kale ka kachuma kwa huko na hiyo dawa. But sitaki kutembea like other people, other people tu naona mtu anatembea. Mimi naona bado I have I nafikia I have time. Mm. Bado naweza induce labor naturally. <laughs> natembea na kujirusha rusha. Hata nurses nurses by the next day walikuwa na si huni ule alikuwa anashinda kiruka ruka huko mm. jana. So nika I really tried nika jump, nika dance. In fact hata ulikuwa tu hapo una record nikifanya yeah. vitu kwa zangu. <laughs> wana ni record niki dance niki dance nini hadi manaso anapita hapo anasema uh, yeah, bado eh so, but mo- now the problem is is key kitu eventually the doctor akakuja akasema then now let's do the induction yeah. as as planned yeah kwenda ku try induction aka find out oh no you don't even need to be induced nile haupati labor like pain yeah. but 
usha dilate you're, you're almost actually the baby is all, you're almost 10 in a fact 10 cm nikambo you are 7 cm it's only that uko when you wale watu hamskiangi mski uchungu eh but in order sasa kufunguka hiyo part imebaki let's just do the induction tumalize tu history mara moja mm. <laughs> wakaeka waka wakaeka hiyo in fact walikuwa wanaita augmentation kwa augment cause mm. you already in labor but ni kui ni kui fastenisha tu they fastened it bearable to cover first time aki like i think i'm i'm, I'm just lucky because kui, even people when you have kwangi induced to nasikia mtu ana complain it was terrible but even with the induction bado inakuwa bearable yeah cause mpaka time nilikuwa naenda delivery room i called one of the nurses nikamwambia nasikia like ni kama niko ready alafu akaniambia akaniangalia hata hakunifanyia kitu akaniangalia akaniambia hapana when you are ready i'll see it i'll even see the it on your face na... so they were waiting at if ke point yenye maybe na maybe una, na dia maybe na niko in pain cause niko tu hivi kawaida namwambia na feel there is something yeah cause unakwangana hiyo maybe kama urge to poop ama kitu kama hiyo so uko like mimi na feel niko ready but yana sema ah ukiwa ready nitaona So ndio after a while nikaenda hapo nje nikaita madam eh nikamwita nikamwambia eh tulikuwa tumeita nasa hapa na akasema are you ready unaweza kama mtu muangalie mm. at least wasiwasi ishe mm. na akakama kwambie bulala hapo hata sikufika kwa bed vizuri nikaenda kulala ndio akasema si ndio huyu mtoto alikuangalia hivyo eh si ndio mtoto the alikuwa ameanza kutoka mm. but sasa the fact that bado niko compost si si kai kai ni pain wako like ah pana wengo jangoja so venye huyo aliona like she was even shocked akasema mshikilie mumkimbize mm, kwa delivery, delivery room. room so even ndo tukaenda nika deliver it was it was not bad labor is labor is not bad what was your go for labor <laughs> it's, it's different for everyone but it, it was not it was bearable i think pia the fact that unakuwa umeona scary stories so uko prepared for the worst kabisa unafika hapo unapata uh, kumbe kumbe i can manage mm. and that's how you you brought that's us our baby i met my baby boy mm. nile una, unaona unaona kama mtoto unasikia tu mm. so the coincidence is both babies walizaliwa same month as we had prayed for mm. and then both of them ilikuwa on tuesday night cause yani ili happen to coincidence tu na pata wote wawili eh Tuesday night na ingepango hata hakuna hesabu inaweza yeah, fanya hiyo hiyo si hesabu but hesabu ni hiyo ya August, ya August. but uh, it happened that all of them ili kwa Tuesday Tuesday night same doctors same pediatrician ndio wali wa receive yani kwa mm. sababu ni kali kwa mpanga unaenda hosi unapata yani ule daktari mwenye alikuwa hapa 2 years ago alikuwa night shift that day bado leo ndio ako night shift kwa sababu <laughs> tunaambia pet na mwambia au nikumbuki nasema <laughs> tulikuwa hapa when yule ulipiga mtoto picha 1000 na mwambia eh hata leo nataka umpige kama hizo upige zingine so we at a delivery room tulikuwa tu tunapiga story mm. na wao wakanini wakanichukua mapicha mingi cuz akakumbuka hiyo point ya mm. tunapenda mapicha ati yaka katoto hata akajafikisha siku lakini kako na picha mingi <laughs> yeah so ifa kwa hivyo usiku we stayed up to morning ndio ukakuja home tukabaki na my boy eh mm. time of my life eh hey, by the way aka ka kijana na ako umekaa na ako nile ata unasema eh hey, huyu mtoto nilikuwa nimemngoja i always wanted, wanted to have a baby boy ndio huyu amekuja no, na nataka tu kushinda hivi hata sitaki mtu amchukue na umepata ka boy kama tulia hata akakusumbui yeah ni kama Mungu analipisha venye huyu alisumbua cause unakumbuka ali nini alikuwa anakusumbua hizo za the whole night mm. huyu sasa it's my turn bila hata huyu unaambia nga watu ati analala the whole night watu wanashanga mm, watu kwa like alianza kulala the whole night akiwa hata 3 weeks naenda tu maybe na muamsha i feed the baby na mrudisha mm. na lala but uh, generally pretty much parenthood ni the same for both babies mm. cuz mimi as a experience thing. experience yote kama ni excitement yote nimeona iko same equal. Mm. it's so awesome cuz unapata you you ni watu wawili different and you get to love them equally mm. and unapata kuna hiyo tu balance iko tu pa eh cuz fear ina kuangati kama uko na watoto wawili na wote ni toddlers unaweza pata ume drift attention maybe to one but 
it has been okay tuna unaweza kubalance hiyo la una, ni kama tu ni super power god anakupea una balance hiyo love to both of them but watoto wawili mtu ana feel you can raise your shoulder much higher <laughs> <laughs> unaweza advise watu <laughs> unaweza andika kitabu acha acha wafike university wa graduate ndio utaandika bado bado uko step one of 1000 steps generally mimi na naweza sema jani imekuwa poa jani imekuwa poa eh, most of all naweza taka to, to thank god for this opportunity ya kukuwa a father please take for granted eh, another thing uh, person pia yeah, naweza taka to thank kwa hiyo opportunity si rahisi kupata mtu anataka kupoa watoto wengi hivyo <laughs> na bado ana ako ako hapa <laughs> but i'm really happy i also want to thank uh, our parents both uh, pande yangu pande yako mm. for being understanding na supportive sana sana uh, supportive sana. and all our close friends wale mnajijua mmekuwa supportive in one way or another and that has been our story ama kuna mtu anataka kushukuru ama nimeweka wote umeweka wote but of course top of the list is god you and our parents and my nanny i've had the same nanny for both babies and she's been so helpful yani ni ile hata tunaweza tunaweza travel si ile hata mtu anatoka ngat you need maybe to call a relative ama a friend akuje mm. umwache na mtoto like god akatubariki na a good nanny mwenye ni a young girl but ako tu ako poa na watoto amewachukua kama amewachukua ni kama watoto wake unapata hata vile wamebon hata aizitaka hata mm. I, kuna I time live, kuna, t- live, unapata. kuna time kali kwa kasik uh. tunakuja hapa kwa hao tumetoka job unapata wanalia wote both the nanny <laughs> and the child both are crying yani she can't she, she's not even able to kuangalia wakati kuna mtoto wako in pain kwa sababu ya anapenda so pia hiyo ni blessing na pia inasaidia hata hauna worry ya mm. utatoka nje mtoto wako uko na newborn utafanyaje na hiyo time venye ndio unapata nga most moms hata wanajifungia kwa nyumba hata 3 months mtu hajaenda mahali una unalea mm. so if you get someone mwenye wa kukushikilia it really comes through cause my nani naye ame come through naweza acha watoto wangu na niende sina 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 no, wasi wasi kwa tunam trust sana alitumwa tu na Mungu. And that has been our story. Yeah. Let's finish by also thanking Picha Clear for the opportunity to share our, to share our story. To share story. Najua ijakuwa inaweza kuwa maybe si interesting kwenu but it, <laughs> it has been a really interesting journey to us. <laughs> Wait, it's interesting to everyone. <laughs> it's interesting. But so, we thank you guys. Thank you for the opportunity and your time. Hmm. Na mbarikiwe and as this story goes out there kwa mtu mwenye anajishuku maybe i'm sure kuna mtu wako mahali ana job na amepeana mimba anafikiria kutoroka usitoroke look at me now ningetoroka singekuwa na baby boy ukisikia mtu anakuja na sahani yake watu wengi wanatesifai wakasema ni ukweli na ni ukweli so sio sisi pekee tume tume experience hiyo ya mtu atakuja na sahani yake it's common so i hope this is this story it impact mtu out there in one way or another barikiwe sana thank you